Bridge, and today we're going to be making sherry beef. Hey guys, welcome to our kitchen. I'm Jerry, also known as Blind Mama, and this is my daughter Kate, and we like to cook together, don't we? Yeah. And for those of you who don't know me, I am totally blind, 100%, have been blind for the last 30 years. 30? Yeah, mm -hmm. something like 30. Um, I lost my vision after a battle with bilateral retinal blastoma. And so the purpose of our channel is to teach others who might be losing their vision or who are totally blind already that they can still make a delicious meal. Also, we want to spread awareness about retinoblastoma. My daughter also had it in both of her eyes. So we need to get the word out about that pediatric cancer that causes blindness or can take your life. So onward and upward. The next thing is this is part of the Whip It Up Wednesday collaboration. So we're gonna whip up something yummy in our crock pot today. And what I have here is two and a half pounds of stew meat. I actually um, caught some roasts on sale the other day and I had the butcher cut it into stew meat for me so that I don't have to do it. So we're gonna slide all this meat into my crock pot. And then, Caitlin, do you want to read the ingredients that we have? Yeah. <laughs> I ran over here. <laughs> Where were you? I was checking the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said my name, I'm like, oh. Okay, what are our ingredients? We have one can of cream of mushroom. We have homemade, uh, what's it called? Onion, dry onion soup mix. And we have our bowl. That means. And fresh garlic. Yeah. Oops, where'd it go? We're gonna, and then we have, I forgot what this is called. The thing that you uh, crush up garlic with. Garlic press. Yeah. And our meat is in a crock pot. And some sherry, wine. Oh yeah. That's Not good. technically cooking sherry, but I don't like cooking sherry. And I don't like to cook with anything that I don't like to taste. So we got some delicious um, sherry the other day. Also on sale, conveniently next to the roast. So first thing we're gonna do is open our cream and mushroom soup. I say, okay, here we go. <laughs> it's like a soda can. Yeah. And we're gonna scoop this into our bowl. Good old cream and mushroom soup. You gotta always have it in the cabinet. This smells good. This happens to be our last can, so we need to get some more. We're going to set this can aside because we're going to use that in a second. And where's my little doohickey? Where's my... <laughs> hey, here yeah. it is. Slide this over. <laughs> Put that there. All right, move that out of the way. So this is my own dry onion soup mix because I don't have any of the envelopes ready so this is um some instant beef bouillon granules some dehydrated onion some onion powder and celery seed all mixed together we're gonna dump that into our bowl with our cream and mushroom soup oh i should have had you do that part i'm sorry i'm sorry okay we'll set this aside now I'm going to press some garlic into this mixture. Maybe, maybe not, hang on. This is a uh, Pampered Chef garlic press and I found out you don't have to peel your garlic to press it because the peeling will stay inside. If you have <laughs> no issues, everywhere. All right. There we go. Get some fresh garlic in there. Get it off my hand. Ooh, that smells good. Okay. It does, doesn't it? All right. I think that's a goodly amount. Sticky stuff. All right. Caitlin, 
Yes. Do you want to start stirring this around while I get the sherry? Yeah. And get a paper towel out of my hands off. Mmm. It smells more like garlic than whatever we put in there. It smells wonderful, doesn't it? Oh, whoa. Stir it real good, like you're mixing up a cake batter. It does look like cake batter a little bit. <laughs> Except with, it looks like cake batter and oatmeal and, I don't know. <laughs> Whip it good. Did you put pepper in it? I did, I did put some brine. I, I ground up some fresh black pepper and put that in there too. With the um, dry onion soup mix. Sorry, so if you don't have those envelopes handy that you buy in the store, if you happen to have all those ingredients, you can make your own onion soup mix. All right, let's put the sherry in. And that's what we're going to use this can for. Where's the... Uh, Where's the sherry? Oh, I put it over here. Do I put, do I put the spoon in the bowl? Um, kind of tap it off. I just set it over there somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna open this. Smells good. Might have to have a glass with my dinner. And I'm just gonna use this can to pour. Not quite a full can. I'm using my finger. I don't have sharp edges on this can, so I'm not worried about cutting myself. This is um, not coming off a spoon. Almost a full can of the sherry. Here, let me see. We'll get it rinsed off. That is not filling up. <laughs> stir this around with whatever might be left in the can. Ooh. Wait, what's in there again? Cream of mushroom soup. Oh. Dump this in here. <laughs> Give it a good stir. Whoa! Did it turn a funky color? Yeah. It's here, let's like show. Brown tan. Can you see me? It does bring it over. I don't want to tip it too far. It'll go right on out. <laughs> okay. So give that a good stir. Sounds heavenly. And then we're going to bring this over to our crock pot. Woohoo! Don't knock over the alcohol. Stop that over there. I got nervous for a second. <laughs> bring this over here. Is that knocked over? Dump it. <laughs> dogs would have been happy. Oh God. Dump this all over our stew meat. Let's give this bowl a few scrapes. <clears throat> I just go around it a few times because I can't see to make sure that it's empty. Sometimes I don't have extra eyeballs here to help me like my children or my husband. So I just give it a few good scrapes to make sure. It smells like it something I know but I can't, I don't remember the name. Smells like something you've smelled your mama cook before me. Wait. Smells like okay. apple. Now I'm gonna give this a good stir. Can you look in on the crock pot camera person? Dad. Stir this around. Get it all good and blended. My crock pot's wobbly because it's old. And it's it got works. a broken leg, but I love it anyway. Didn't it lose a leg or is it broken? I don't know what happened. I think it actually lost the little rubber piece on the bottom, oh. so it just makes it wobbly. Stir this around until I think it's nice and coated. And that feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then, oh. set that on that plate. She's just gonna slap the lid on here. I have it set to, the first click is low, the second click is high. So I'm gonna leave it on high for about two hours, then turn it down to low for about three or four hours, and just let this cook and smell good all day. And we will show you what it looks like when it's all done. We'll be back. Okay, so this has been cooking for about five hours, and now I'm going to add a half cup of sour cream, which makes this sort of a um, sherry beef stroganoff, I guess. And when it gets all finished, we are going to have it on top of some simple white rice and I'm so hungry it's been smelling good all day it has okay we'll be back bye okay guys it is finished 
And here it is. We are having it over the top of some Mahatma rice that I just cooked in the skillet. And then uh, some fresh green beans that my hubby made a couple days ago. We need to eat those up. So Kate's going to give it a taste test. Yeah, and we put meat, the meat on top of the rice. And if you make rice, then you can put it on the side. Let me get rice with it. Mm. Scale of one to ten. Ten being the best. A hundred. <laughs> A hundred? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a... Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to us if you haven't already. And we hope to see you next time on... The Blind Mall of Messy Kitchen. <laughs> Bye, guys.